July the 15th, 2023. As you're looking at remarkable images of the largest explosion they're saying in this solar cycle of 24. And uh, it's, this is the sun we're looking at, SDO images. Now this was recorded uh, earlier on spaceweather.com, on our, that's a link on our website. And now the SDO is down for some reason. They, it even mentions possibly been hacked. But it says a dark eruption on the sun, one of the most dramatic eruptions of solar cycle 24 or 25, excuse me, occurred yesterday, July the 14th, when the spray of dark plasma flew away from the sun's southern hemisphere. There was a C 8.8 flare there right before the explosion over that sunspot, and those arcs between uh, basically a ground and a hot, different uh, magnetic polarities cause these explosions so you see a flash then you see this filament it's headed directly at us the cme models again have not brought up a tracking model yet if, as soon as that happens i'm going to come back up with another video and we're going to look at the arrival time but i've seen these type of solar filament eruptions be the strongest as far as pressure on the tectonic plates and earthquakes it says the explosion started again says this plasma was relatively cool and dense silhouetted by the glow of the underlying sun the explosion probably hurled a cme towards earth com confirmation awaits fresh data from soho coronagraphs soho is up i'll show you that but they have again have do not have the model as this is a strong flare we were just talking about the sun and because of the heat and the other things we're seeing on the planet in the video this morning now you're looking at SOHO this is the other satellite this does not show you the Sun it puts what's called a red occulter disk in this case on this this SOHO uh, Lasco 2 satellite and that blocks the Sun so you can see the outer perimeter of it and look at the flares on the right is another filter timed exactly you notice the timestamp on the 13th going into the 14th you'll see the explosion and uh, this actually goes into the 15th and explosions are continuing here we are on the 14th you'll see the flare start right there guys that was the strongest section of it so now that they have this information that they were talking about they did not have this is up and maybe we can get a tracking model from our CME trackers guys I'm not gonna make this as a long video but what I'm gonna do is watch for the tracking model to come up that will give me the information to share with you about the time of arrival and it will show the strength of the CME itself as these are notorious for earthquakes the filament releases when they're earth facing they seem different from a normal coronal mass ejection but they it seems like the density is stronger which is the strength of the wave we'll get the information on the speed that will give us the arrival date but guys, uh, we're watching it. We know that we're in an increasing solar cycle 25. It's broken that chain of decreasing cycles 24, 23, 22. They were each weaker, but already in we're not really even in the mid peak of uh, an 11.8 year solar cycle, and we already have broken the strength of solar cycle 24 as far as the amount of radiation and the number of sunspots and flares. So. The sun is picking back up. We mentioned that this morning. So, guys, uh, again, short video. Just want to let you know what's going on, and I will update this very quickly. Heads up. Be safe.